Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Friday the 13th series review. And today, I'll be reviewing Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives came out in 1986. And it stars Tom Matthews, Jennifer Cook, and CJ Graham as Jason Voorhees. And it was written and directed by Tom McLaughlin. Um, part 6, a lot of fans say, is probably the best or the second best next to Part 4. And it's my second favorite Friday the 13th movie. It's, um, basically the story is, you know, um, I guess this movie kind of ignores Part 5 a little. Um, like I said, it could be a bad dream of Tommy, but a lot of fans say that. So, Part 6, in a way, does kind of ignore Part 5, because in Part 5, they said Jason's cremated. Um, in Part 6, he's just, uh, he's just Jason. He's not cremated. So, I'm gonna assume that Part 6 kind of ignored Part 5 a little. But anyway, you know, Tommy takes his friend to go into the cemetery and dig up Jason so Tommy can cremate Jason because Tommy's just having hallucinations and nightmares about Jason and he can't just get he can't get over it and uh, Tommy's like ah oh, uh, Jason you know he's like ah oh, you gotta destroy him and um, you know they do try to do that they get to the digging up and they open Jason's coffin and they're just about to light fire on Jason and then it starts raining and then it starts lightning and this this lightning um, brings back Jason from the dead, or reanimates him. So Jason comes back, he kills his friend, Tommy goes to the sheriff, and the sheriff's like, ah, Jason's not back, Jason's been dead for a long time. And he, he just does not like Tommy. And, you know, this sheriff, you know, the, the sheriff Mike Garrison was like, jeez, this dude is mean. I'm like, this dude's really, like, mean. And um, he's always threatening Tommy, and, you know, was like, man. And uh, meanwhile, there's some camp counselors. Um, um, they're getting ready for the weekend of children coming to, to Crystal Lake. And um, this is the only Friday the 13th movie with kids. I mean, that's what a lot of people have pointed out. But, um, you know, their uh, kids come to the camp, and... And Jason's on the loose, you know, there's a bunch of paintball people, and Jason kills them, and Jason heads off to the camp, and he's starting to kill off all the counselors, and Tommy's like, Tommy's telling um, the sheriff's daughter, Megan, who kind of has a crush on Tommy, and she believes him. And so she's trying to help Tommy every little bit that she can. She's trying to help Tommy all she can. And, you know, she's helping Tommy go to the camp, and... You know, Tommy has a plan. He's going to chain a rock, and he's going to chain Jason and put him in the water. You know, Jason's original resting place, and Tommy hopes his final resting place. But it's apparently, you know, parts 7 and 8 exist, so that's clearly not the final resting place of Jason. Um, so, you know, and, uh, you know, so Tommy does his plan, and it works, and, um, Excuse me. Excuse me again, I'm sorry. And, um, so, you know, um, so, I'm, I'm, I lost track. Um, so, Jason pretty much is fighting Tommy, and, you know, they're trying to chain him underwater, and it does work, you know, um, yeah. And, uh, Tommy, uh, he, kills Jason. There's a thing um, where Megan turns the propeller on and she cuts Jason's face explaining why that little piece of mask is missing in part 7. But, you know, Jason dies and, it, you know, the movie's over. They leave and, you know, Jason kind of opens his eye at the end. And it's a pretty good movie. Um, yeah, part 6, great, great, great movie. I think it's the second best of the series in my opinion. Um, you know, part six is just awesome. It's funny, it's entertaining, it's fun. And the thing is why it's funny is because Tom McLaughlin went for a comedy angle. Um, Tom McLaughlin said, I'm going to add some comedy to it. And, uh, you know, Frank Mancuso was like, alright man, go ahead and do it. And, um, 
you know, they were like, okay, Jason's back, everybody, you don't need to hate it, because everybody hated part five of this, oh, Jason isn't in it, and, uh, you know, they were like, oh, man, I think we messed it up, so they went back, and they got Jason back to life, and uh, fans loved it, and I, I, th I think the critics even, you know, thought it was a bit better than, you know, some of the previous entries, and, uh, you know, Friday the 13th Part 6 has a very light tone to it, um, it has a little comedy angle in it. It has some moments of comedy, but like you also have action in it. It's just so entertaining to watch. Um, this movie also just has a fantastic story. Um, I love how it's just Tommy versus Jason at this point. And it's, yeah, like I said, it's Tommy versus Jason at this point. And uh, Tommy's like, all right, I'm going to finish off Jason, and the Tommy story is now completed. Um, I believe. They want to make another Friday the 13th with Tommy Jarvis, you know, kind of trying to finish off his story, but I don't know. Um, that is if they even get to doing the, uh, the uh, story with Tommy and Jason for one last time. I don't know. But, um, yeah, after this, it's part 7 and part 8 and Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X. After this, it's all different stuff. And, um... Let's see, um, part six is awesome, though. I mean, I'm gonna give this movie a 10 out of 10. I think this movie's awesome. It's my second favorite of the series. And, uh, yeah, part six, really, really, really good movie. So, yeah, that was my review on Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. And thanks, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys later. Bye.